What's going on, everyone? My name is Raz, and welcome back to How Not to Play Battle Spot, the season in which we're going to Battle Spot, play for games, and we'll win. That's fantastic. I've not done it just to you guys, and also play Battle Spot. In today's episode, we have the second battle with the mono gender team. If you didn't know what this uh, theme is, this theme is based around the Pokemon that only can be one gender. For example, Hitmonlee and Nidoking can only be male, Vesuquen and Milton can only be female, and Entei and Porygon too can only be genderless, which is being counted as gender today because why not? And we did that challenge button. If you do want to suggest a theme to that you'd like to use in the series, holy Shangletooth, I messed up already. That you'd like to use in the series, go ahead and do that in the comment section below. And while you're down there, typically typing away at your comment, if you want to hit that like button as well, that'd be absolutely amazing. Go hit that like, go watch my absolute best to make sure this two videos for you guys on the daily. And if you saw last episode, it turned into a massive stall fest, which we eventually, we eventually won out. I was really surprised that I won. I was, I was so sure I was gonna fail, and then we hit that toxic, and I was like so happy, so happy. But look at this team: we have a Sheninja, a Talonflame, a Conkledur, a Rotom Wash, a Heatran, and a Garchomp. Lots of threats, lots of powerful stuff, and we really need to take something super effective against that uh, Sheninja. I really want to take Entei. Ah, uh, but then again, uh, it, it doesn't really do well against like most of the other stuff there. Uh, I guess it, I guess it can do kind of well. You know, if we burn that Cone Kelder, ah, but it's probably got the old guts boost. It's probably got the old guts boost. It's probably got one of those. Probably one of those people. It's probably one of those. I'm um, actually gonna lead up with Porygon. Or should I lead with Miltank? Actually, I don't know. Actually, no. Mm, two bulky normal types. Which one do I want to lead off with, though? Uh, I don't really. I think Talonflame. I feel I feel like I'm better off with Porygon too if I if the Talonflame comes out. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. Actually, you know what? You know what? That's, that's just that's not. I no, I don't know. I, the Heatran's really scary. Um, oh, what can I take for Heatran? I could probably take Hitmonlee for the Heatran. The Heatran, uh, the Hitmonlee could probably take out the Heatran. It could take out the Ninja as well because it has Stone Edge. I don't know about the other Pokemon. Not so much sure. I'm not entirely, not entirely 100% certain that we could take those out. But I do want to. Mm, do I take the Needle King? Nah, the Needle King can't really do much. I don't think the Neo King will be uh, doing much today. I should lead off with the Hit Only. Uh, no, no, he's probably gonna lead off with the uh, Talent Flame. That would be a terrible idea. What am I saying? Lead off with the Hit Only? What, what, what am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, I'm actually gonna take the Entei as well. Just mm, should I do that? I want to take it because I want to burn stuff. But at the same time, I feel like burning stuff would be a bad idea <laughs> because of guts and such. Oh, the Garchomp really scares me actually. The Garchomp is super scary. Um, what does Miltank do? Miltank, 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 what do you do? You do, you got some decent defense, not really the greatest, not the best in the world. I'm just gonna take Entei because we're running out of time here. Uh, let's just do it, let's lock it in, let's, let's go. Let's go. All right, let's go, we got it locked in. Uh, Porygon 2 actually has Ice Beam, so if the Garchomp wants to lead, that'd be actually kind of good. That'd be kind of good, I could just go for the Ice Beam and not have to worry about a damn thing. If the Talonflame wants to lead, that would actually be kind of good as well. If the Shin Ninja wants to lead, that'd be kind of good as well, because I could just Toxic it and not have to worry about that. Um. I guess the only thing I'm really scared of leading is the Conkelder, which would be a big problem because I don't want to poison it in case it does have the guts. I don't want it to get a boost. I don't want it to get that boost. He's gonna lead up with the Garchomp, which is perfect, so I can just go for this Ice Beam and not have to worry about a damn thing. Not have to worry about a damn thing. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I'm locking in him. It's locked in. It's done. It's done. I'm pretty sure we can take an Earthquake or whatever really well. Uh, if you want to set up Stealth Rocks, it'd be okay. Not entirely too bothered about that. It would hurt Entei, actually. It would, that would hurt Entei quite a bit. That'll be really painful to Entei. I'm not, I'm not sure Entei would appreciate that if you want to do that. You're gonna withdraw. You're gonna straight up withdraw. What are you gonna go into? Oh, the Sheninja probably. Is that Sheninja? Is that? Is it? No, it's the Conkeldur, which is not gonna appreciate an Ice Beam. So that's that's okay. That's pretty nice. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit. Okay, that's not a Salt Vest. That's not a Salt Vest because <laughs> I know it's not a Salt Vest. I know I know that um, Conkeldur would definitely take that better if it did have the 50% boost on the Special Defense. That nice 50% boost. Only problem now is do I go into him only? Do I go into him only or do I go into Entei? Both of them could probably take a hit pretty well. Not entirely sure if him only could take it out though. I feel like I need to go into I'm gonna go into Entei. I'm gonna go into Entei. Uh, he's probably gonna go for a mock punch. He's probably gonna go for a drain punch actually. Mm. Yeah, he's probably gonna go for a drain punch. I feel like if we get the burn on the Sacred Fire, that may be able to take him out. You know, a little bit of burn damage. I'll be good. I'll be good, right? I'll be good. Uh, but if he goes for the drain punch, maybe not. Uh, he's probably gonna go for drain punch, isn't he? There's Earthquake! Oh, we predicted my switch into Entei perfectly! Oh, that's dead! I'm dead! Oh, wow, that really sucks. That's- uh, it's Life Orb! Wow, it's Life Orb! Okay, I was not expecting that. I really was not expecting that. Okay, I'm gonna have to go into Hitmonlee here. I don't want to send Porygon 2 out against that thing, so I'm gonna go into Hitmonlee. I'm gonna use the old Fake Out Normal Gem technique and see how that goes. Hopefully, it'll be enough to take him out. That's what I'm hoping. You know, with a little bit of Life Orb damage there, I might be able to do it. I'm able to pull through, I'm hoping so, hoping so. What you gonna do? You gonna switch? You gonna switch? 
I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay with you switch. I'm okay with you switching. Because if you go into Shedinja, that's gonna take a Stone Edge. Oh, but if you go into Talonflame, but I can just switch into uh, Porygon too. Yeah, I can do that. I can do that. I can do that. I'm okay. What you gonna go for, huh? What you gonna go for? It's three against two here. You, you have the numerical advantage. No, I'm just saying. You have the numerical advantage here. You should probably, uh, you should probably just stay in. Stay in and take the fake out. Take it. Oh, you're gonna switch out. Don't go into Garchomp. That'll be my worst nightmare. It'll be the worst thing you could possibly do. Is that the Garchomp? It's the Talonflame. Oh, wow. Okay, so you do go in the Talonflame. I'm just gonna go over the. No. Oh, wow. That's good. That sucks because I'm not gonna get the speed boost from Burden anymore if I switch out. It sucks, but we gotta do what we gotta do. I'm just gonna switch out now into my Porygon 2. Because Porygon 2 can take uh, Brave Birds really well. We're going to take, take Brave Birds for days, really. Um, the only the only thing that would really mess me up if he goes into Conkeldor now. I'm not entirely sure if he wants to predict that, though. He might, he might predict that. In my, my experience, it don't really do much predicting on Battle Spot. You know, it's only three against three, so it's not much predicting to be done, really, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, you, you can't... He you, uh, you knows, you knows the Pokemon I have, though. He knows all the Pokemon I have left. That really sucks I lost Entei, so... Uh, it really sucks I lost Entei so early on. I could have came in uh, with Entei and Extreme Speed at this thing. Because the plus two priority, but ah, it's a shame. You're gonna with oh man, you're gonna withdraw. Oh, he actually predicted me. Oh, but he goes to the Garchomp. Okay, that's odd. That's 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 oh okay. I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam then. I'm just gonna go for Ice Beam. Are you gonna oh you're gonna go for the Outrage? I can take that. I'm 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 certain I can take that. I can take that so well because whenever you're like mm, not not the best in the role, but we can definitely take it. Are we gonna kill this thing with Ice Beam though? Are we gonna kill this thing with Nice Beam? Yes, we are gonna kill it with Nice Beam. Okay, so that's good. The Garchomp is down. He's probably gonna have to go into Conkeldo now. Or risk just losing. <laughs> He's gonna probably just risk just losing. Cause I, uh, the, mm, I need to keep Porygon 2 alive. Yeah, there's the Conkeldo. I need to keep Porygon 2 alive. That's what I need to do. Can I outspeed it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's Conkeldo's speed? I wonder if I can outspeed and go for like a recover or something. Um, oh, I need to open a new tab. Conkeldo. What's your speed? What's your speed? Let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. 45? Okay, maybe I have no speed that. Porygon. Porygon 2. What's what Porygon 2 speed? What was it? What's it looking like? Is it looking any good? Is it looking, is it looking pretty nice? Is it looking nice? I don't know. I don't know if it's looking nice or not. 60, so I can outspeed it. I can outspeed it and go for a try attack, really, if I wanted to. Unless he's speed invested. Oh, why would you be speed invested, though? I don't. Mmm. Um. Uh, I, uh, I want to do so many things at once. I can't switch out because I'm only was straight up die. Although, I, maybe I can. Will you straight up die? I don't know. Oh god, this is so... I'm just gonna go for recover this turn and see what he wants to do. He's probably gonna drain punch, which will really not make me happy at all. He outspeeds me! Oh no, I thought I... I just have speed investments. Yeah, oh, I'm done. That's it. That's GG. That's GG. Oh, why would you have a speed invest in Conkeldor? I don't understand. Is it to outspeed my Porygons? Is that, is, that, is that all you had it for? Is that, is that really the only reason? Is that the really only reason why? Is that is that is that is that why? I don't know. <laughs> oh god, that really sucks. Okay, so unfortunately, him only is gonna come in, and unless you switch into Talonflame now, and I predict that, then that it's over. It's over. I'm just gonna go for a fake out. Yeah, there's a fake out. He's not gonna switch out because that would be silly. Um, there's really no reason to switch out. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for a close combat. It doesn't really matter in the end. There's the mock punch. Okay, uh, is that gonna take me out? That's not gonna take me out, I was gonna say. <laughs> at least I can make it a 1-0, at the very least. But, uh, the Town Flame is gonna come back in, and it's going to wreck me. It's going to break- we can take it out, we can take the Conkeldor out. We are- we are powerful enough to do that, but, uh, not powerful enough, not bulky enough to survive a- a Brave Bird. Definitely not. Definitely not. Defiantly not. Defiantly not. Maybe- maybe it's not Dale Wings, maybe it's- I don't know, maybe- maybe it'll go for a- a Protect or something. Maybe it'll- mm, maybe it'll go for a Roost. Maybe it'll go for a Roost. <laughs> I don't know why it would do that. There'll be no reason to do that at all, but there you go, Stone Edge. There you go. You can, yes, there's the Brave Bird, and that is going to be GG. So that's one victory and one loss for this team so far. So we're, we're even Stevens. We're even Stevens on the team. Maybe we can get a victory next time. I don't know. I don't know. Oh god, I really. Mm, I can't believe uh, I. Sh I don't know what I should have done there. Actually, the Drain Punch would have killed my Helen Lee, no matter what. So really, I didn't. I don't think I have a chance of victory there. I don't really think I had a chance ever. Uh, ever since my Ante went down. I, I didn't have a chance because I needed that Entei. I needed the Entei. That was that was the clutch moment that really uh, lost me the battle there. But that's about it for this time. If you're in this part of the video, then thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please leave a like on this video. It'll be absolutely incredible if you can hit that like all my absolute best to make sure there's two videos to you guys on a daily. Once again, if you made it this far in the video, I'm gonna thank you so much for watching again, 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 again. But uh, that's gonna be about it for this time. Uh, oh god, am I really gonna say it again? 
Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.